The proof is in the pudding. All right, guys, and welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet guide. In today's guide, I'm going to be going over shiny hunting and making shiny sandwiches. So the first thing I want to do is go over a few things. First and foremost, I want you to check your switch settings by hitting the home button, going to your settings, going down to system, and then going down to zoom. You're going to want to turn this on. This may be like a rare case that you use this, but when there's really small Pokemon and they're a little bit far away from you where you're not going to scare them away, you can use this function to zoom in on them and you can check to see if their coloring is different without running up on them and scaring them away and things like that. So what you do is you hit the home button twice and it brings up this menu here and you just hit Y and X to zoom it in. Now... You can zoom quite a ways with this. Now, it's not going to be like the best quality, but let's say there's like a small Pokemon right here. You can zoom in on it and then you can see, you know, what it looks like. So that's one thing I wanted to mention uh, before the video starts. And also, um, we're going to go over a few other things. So you're going to want to have some high level Pokemon just in case you're in an area where the Pokemon you're hunting is a decent level, like in the 50s or 60s. Uh, make sure you have plenty of Pokeballs. Also, make sure you have plenty of your favorite Pokeball that you would like to catch this Pokemon in. Um, also, going to want to make sure that you have tons of sandwich ingredients. You can buy sandwich ingredients at uh, Mesa Goza. It's right in the middle of the map underneath the crater there, right below the crater, and it's near the school. It's the first big, big town you go to. Um, you're also going to, want to make sure if you're doing this with a shiny sandwich method and not just encounters that you have Herba Mystica. Um, you're going to need two of any kind. So as long as you have two Herba Mystica, um, even two of the same ones should work in my testing. That's what I have found. But as always, do a hard save before you make your sandwich. That way, uh, if it doesn't work or if you mess the sandwich up and ingredients all fall off and stuff like that uh, and the sandwich is different, you can just reset the game. So, also, it's another good idea to save before you make the sandwich because if you go through your 30 minutes of your sandwich power and you don't find a shiny, you can just simply reset the save by closing the game out, reopening it, and then you can make the sandwich again. And that way, you're not wasting your ingredients. So, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to reference this uh, Papa Hefe uh, ingredient chart here. This is the one I mainly use. It says here, test it with bitter and spicy Herba Mystica, but I have definitely used like the same two, like two sweets and things like that. Uh, and it has worked for me. So I have already dropped a hard save. So we're going to go ahead and uh, make a sandwich. And in, if, in this example, we're going to be making a flying sandwich. Because since we're by all this water right here, we are going to be trying to spawn in a shiny Gyarados since its secondary type is flying. That will basically negate like 90% of the water Pokemon spawns around here. And it will be just be a ton of Gyarados all over the place. So this is definitely the best way to do this in areas where uh, you you know you can spawn a Pokemon and there's not tons of other Pokemon spawning that are the same type. Another example would be going to the desert and making a steel sandwich and you would have tons of uh, Orthworms spawning here just like this one here. I found this one within like 13 minutes of making my sandwich. It was pretty easy. I got the belly bolt from a mass outbreak. It was a tad bulb. And the Hydreigon I got down in area zero. So, without further ado, we're going to take this away here. Uh, I will link the video to this uh, sandwich ingredients picture in the description. So, shout out to Papa Jefe for making this guide on the sandwiches. So, we're going to go ahead and make ourselves a sandwich. And what we're going to do uh, is we're going to need two of the prosciuttos and then onion, yellow pepper, green pepper, and red pepper. So once you're in the sandwich menu, you're going to want to hit X to go to creative mode. And then we're going to do uh, two of the prosciuttos. And then we're going to do onion. And then red, green, and yellow pepper. And I messed that up. Red, green, and yellow pepper. 
I feel like there's a delay on the Pro Controller. I don't know. I'm like right next to my Switch. And then you're going to want to do your two Herba Mysticas after that and just press the plus button. The pick does not matter which one you use. Uh, so we're going to basically build our sandwich here. I'm going to do this step by step just so you guys can see how this is done. I am not the greatest at making these sandwiches, but I am far from the worst. So we're going to go ahead and put our prosciutto on here. Cover it nice and thick there. Um, you don't really have to do this in any order, but you're going to want to keep in mind the order that you're going to place things might affect the way things sit on the sandwich. So yeah, that's always a thing to keep in mind. You can stack the peppers up if you're careful. Not too bad at all. And then we got our red peppers. Lastly. And then we're going to put the bun on. And then just, you don't have the line to pick up at all. Just press A as soon as the bun drops. And that's your sandwich. So that's what we're going to be using. This should give us sparkling power flying three, uh, tidal power flying three, and then encounter power flying three. So that is going to be the highest level of all of those. And like I said, if this doesn't work for some reason, or if you miss a bunch of your ingredients and mess them up and the sandwich gives you the wrong powers, which I'm pretty sure is possible, but, um, you can just reset the save. So yeah, as we can see here, we got sparkling, tidal, and encounter power all flying. So now we're going to close up the picnic. And um, another thing I like to have with me is a false swiper. Uh, this isn't really necessary, but it does help out. <laughs> I got our guy Rick Rolled here that I got from my my buddy Gygax. So shout out to Gygax for giving me Rick Rolled here. Uh, he's been very useful. Now, you can hit the right arrow on your D-pad and check out the time you have remaining for your meal power. So that's always a useful thing. And now what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to get on your ride Pokemon and just go out to wherever you're hunting your Pokemon at. And like right here, if I sit here for a second, a bunch of them will start spawning. And we're just gonna check these out. And if it's not what we want, we're gonna move on a little bit. And we're going to despawn some of these guys. As you can see, they disappear when you go away. And then we'll just sit here again, look around. And you just rinse and repeat that process. So basically, um, you just do that over and over and over. And eventually, you're more than likely going to find a shiny. I do not have the shiny charm. So we're just doing this with only the shiny, the sparkling power odds only. And the fact that there's like 5 million Gyarados over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep hunting for this Gyarados. And then I will be right back with you guys when I find one. Alright guys, we got our shiny here on the screen. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop a save really quick. Because you can actually save the game. And the shiny will still be here. Um, let me get a little closer. I'm actually going to drop another save. So I'm going to show you guys how some of this stuff works. Since uh, a lot of it isn't super seen in action, we're actually going to close the game out. And we're going to go back in. I just want everybody to be aware that this stuff actually works. I know a lot of people, um, they talk about it, but a lot of people don't show it. So I want to be sure that you guys can see all of this stuff in action. So I got this shiny about nine minutes into my sandwich. So we had about 11 minutes left. Not too bad. I think I got the first Gyarados that I got a lot quicker than this one. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, so as you can see, shiny is still there takes them a minute to load in so here's another thing uh, I think the sand sandwich power will be gone once you do that but we're gonna go ahead and run into this shiny that way we can capture it 
So there it is, guys. Easy shinies. Um, now, there are some other ways that you can get shinies. Like, there's exploits where you can get, like, certain shinies to spawn. And glitches and things like that. Um, I don't cover that stuff because there's a good chance that it's going to get patched. And I'd rather just do everything the legit way and not have to worry about, oh, what way am I going to find shinies next? They patched this way. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to try to capture this thing. I guess I'll just throw it in a repeat ball. That should be, that should suffice. Oh, he popped out, of course. Um, so, I'm trying to think. There's a few other things that I want to mention. So, if you guys don't have access to Herba Mystica and you still want a shiny hunt, you can always do like the highest level of encounter power that you can do. And you can basically just run around and KO a bunch of Pokemon with the auto battle feature. And you don't have as much of a chance to find a shiny as you do like this way. But uh, there's still a good chance that you're going to get one considering that all the Pokemon you're going to encounter. The more Pokemon you see, the higher chance you're going to have one. Now, odds are odds. You can meet the 1 in 4,000 odds. You're not guaranteed to get a shiny at 4,000 Pokemon. Just keep that in mind. Um, it's all just a dice roll. So, um, this is a very simple guide I want to show you guys. And I don't want to go too in-depth with it. I just want to show you guys how you can quickly hunt some shinies. And how you can not really waste your time and ingredients. So, hopefully this guide helped you guys, and if you are new, definitely get subscribed so you don't miss out on any Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. Uh, leave a like on the video, leave your comments down below, and I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks so much for watching.